Here is mule sandals that we built in my mule sandal course. We built here our wedge from cork. Step by step, we constructed here this big wedge with platform here, with big heel here. And we covered it with leather. It has very elegant design. And this is what we uh, think about it before we started to make the sandals. But you, if you want, if you don't know what is the design of your sandals you want to create, you can do it differently. What you need to do is to create, first of all, your wedge, like this one. You see here is a little bit lower wedge, uh, wedge heel built from cork. And first of all, make this wedge from cork and then you will be able to design unlimited designs of soundless working with your shoeless and your builded wedge cork. And right now, in this tutorial, I will show you what possibilities do you have working with this approach. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to know when my new video will come out. So, let's go! Handle on the hammer, especially on the edge. But if you will not see it, and check where you have curved. I explain you why, because we cut in, in the angle, in corrections in the width. For example, you see here and here, you can see the differences. And I start from the middle. Side of this middle must match this straight line. On the second part. I need to stand here more until I will, break, I will get here perfect straight line. And approach here to spread as well. It's already looked well. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. So you see, this is mule sandals with wedge that we made from cork. We created on my sandals course, mule sandals course. And it has very simple but interesting design because here we have clean lines without any seams and also clean design of the wedge cover. This is how we created these sandals. But when you will know how to create simple new sandal with simple cover, you will be able to design unlimited designs of sandals. It can be with straps, it can be um, with design similar to the palm shoes. and what is uh, great here with the mule sandals is, not mule sandals, with wedge sandals, is that the wedge, your wedge built from cork, that is built from cork, can be a part of your shoe design. So let's say that, for example, you don't know what design of the sandal you want to create, but you love to have sandals with wedge cork. So what is your options? You can create the cork wedge, like I ex explained in my courses, where you need to create this cork wedge from uh, layers of cork. And then you can create, you can design your sandals working together with this wedge cork. Okay, so here you don't need to have anything, just build this wedge from cork and then work together with your shoe last, shoe last for sandals. To create wedge from cork, for example, uh, you uh, and use it in sandals, you have to work with sandals last. But if you want to create 
wedge cork on on a on different shula step you also can do it okay the wedge cork is only the part of design that can be attached can be used in any shoe type okay but right now we are talking about sandals so after you will create this uh, this wedge you should cover it with masking tape also cover your shoelace with masking tape this is usually how we work when we want to design our shoes and attach this cork wedge cork uh, wedge built from cork to the bottom of your shoe last why we need to cover wedge and the shoe last because right now we will want to create the design of our sandals where the part of the sandals the uh, some part of the sandals will continue on the part of the wedge okay so at the end we will have something unified so the uh, the design of upper will continue on the cork wedge okay uh, i want to show you this way of thinking because uh, because it's very important to understand that in designing shoes you are not limited you can create whatever you want you can create simple wedge with simple cover like we did in sandals but based on this knowledge you can upgrade your designs and create whatever you want and it's very easy after you will know how to design simple things okay so what you need to do is as i explained before attach masking tape on both parts of our shoe that is shoe last and wedge and then design your sandals working with these two parts also what is important here is to mark important lines of the sandals that is that are the central line the back central line you see the central line must be um, the central line that you will design on the shoe last must pass to the center line that you will mark also on the wedge it's very important so when you we will design our sandals on the last and on the wedge they will uh, they will uh, it will be together completely as one part because of these important marks that we need to have similar on both parts so we have the back central line also we have here you can see because i attach with two pieces of masking tape wedge to the shoe last but here central last center line on the front part of the shoe last goes to the end and passes to the wedge central line okay also we need to mark the beginning of our pinky toe it's very important in sandals making it's one of the most crucial moments in designing of sandals and I explain how to find it in each size there is certain place but we should mark it on the shoelaces and according to these marks we will know where we can design the toe um, the line on the toe to keep our all toes of our feet together so the pinky toe will not fall down from the from the sandals it's very important you know because if you will open it too much the pinky toe will fall down but you can close it and close approximately you can close the pink entire pinky toe so it will not uh, will be visible okay but the beginning of pinky toe you the mark of the beginning of the pinky toe you must have always in designing sandals so also we have the line where we have the joints this is the joint line and the heel height here on the back part of our sandals it's not heel height it's the height of the back okay here we need to mark it also and the end of the instep so we can't move higher than this mark on the sandals because it will bother our feet so that's why we should mark this point 
as well on our shoe list when you want to design sandals. Okay, so after you will mark all these important lines and points, you can start to design your sandals and you don't have any idea. So just you can play with uh, your imagination here, drawing the sandals together with the wedge. For example, let's make one of the most simplest designs but the design that will uh, combine these two parts of our sandal the part of the upper and part of the wedge this is how uh, you can uh, explore your design possibilities here because you have not only the part of the shoeless you, you also have the part of the wedge that is big part and here you can design also many interesting details so let's start here right now i will not um, uh, will um, stay too much on the details to design them very clear and uh, um, precise because i want to show you the idea how you should work how you can work how you can design unlimited designs of your sandals okay so i will design it very fast just to give you the idea but actually when we will design we should use ruler to create beautiful straight lines if you want to create straps for example okay so let's do it let's do it right now with without any ruler here then we will we can correct it with ruler to create this line smooth and straight so for example we, we want to create here two straps one big strap and one small strap it's very simple design of the sandal that you can see in any place in any store and here we have strap front strap that need to cover the pinky toe this is the beginning of the pinky toe the beginning then it can be here or somebody has long toes maybe here okay but we need to cover it to to uh, to hold it with the strap with the other design of the upper so it will not fall down from the shoe okay so this is the beginning and i want to cover it a little bit with this front strap here also it's important to to see how you design in this point of view in uh, this point of view when you uh, look at on the top from the top of the shoe last and then here we'll continue the strap okay and uh, here we have also straight line because the straps here i want to create straps with straight lines but it can be also straps that can be a little bit with different shape for example here it can be wider a little bit okay It's only an illusion of the strap, but actually to um, to have more comfortable sandals, it's required to, to create here a little bit wider space on the, of the upper. But these two lines look parallel, you see, and this is what will create the illusion that we have here two straight straps. Okay, so simple design, but how to upgrade it working with the wedge? For example, we can continue the straight line here and create here, for example, a shape of the half circle. Here and half circle here. And then if you see that doesn't match, you can raise the line and design it again. It's again. Okay. So, uh, and it will create the illusion that, that this strap goes to the wedge. And to continue with this design of uh, circles, we can design on the wedge half circle or 
and uh, let's say whole circle here it's doesn't important we can design the whole circle here or I don't like the the full circle let's make also half circle here but bigger one and it can be on both sides on the outer side and inner side you see right now I not stay too much on on the, on the details to make them preciser but uh, because I will need to work with ruler to design it professionally uh, it, this is how it must be I want, only want to show you how we can work uh, together with the wedge and create many many designs of sandals so you see this is one of the most simplest designs that you can do but already here you can in, uh, you, in your design you can include the part of the wedge so you see here we have two straps with the rounded shape here the end of the strap have here the half circle and to continue with this idea of the circles I designed on the back part of the wedge also half circle okay and all of them can be one color or you can here the color is also another uh, big part of the design let's not talk about the color but let's talk about the shapes here okay but the color it's also one of the uh, this is also the um, part that you should think about it during your design okay now let's say we design this we finish to design the sandal here and then you ask now I think you will ask yourself how it uh, the cover of the wedge will match the step maybe during making the sandal something will move and um, it will not match if you will follow the exact steps it will match how to do it it's very important we will have all the marks of the central lines the central line of the back part will match um, the central line of the shoe last will match the central line of the wedge also we have here matching of the front central line and then after you will take this shoe last off from the shoe last uh, uh, from the wedge sorry you will need to mark these lines of the upper on the button of the insole because here also we have the insole you see here we have insole and I made a tutorial how to uh, work with sandals straps uh, with the any other shoe type that where we have open details the insole pattern here is very important because according to this pattern where we will have marks of the ends of our upper we will know where to attach each part of our sandal we will have these marks on the insole so we attach this step exactly on the right place according to the marks and we will attach this part this strap also in the exact place and then after we will have the cover with these rounded shapes we also will have here on the cover we will have uh, the mark of the center and we will attach this cover according to the center line that we will have here and it match the center of our upper and according to the central in the front part and it will match the, the circles will match the um, part of the straps that we have on the upper uh, the straps of the upper okay it's one of the possibilities now let's design something more difficult you see it's very simple design with the straps of, but how we can change it and create something more interesting because of the wedge that we have here now I want to show you another example also it is very simple design but with interesting twist 
you see here I already designed this sandal started to design now I will need to continue these lines of the upper on the wedge now right now I attached masking masking tape partly on the wedge and on the shoe last but this will be one piece upper that will continue be on the wedge so I need to combine these two parts and the best way to do it to do this pattern the pattern of this type of uh, designs is to attach here masking tape that will unify the part of the upper and part of the wedge so let's attach here masking tape you see here I just attach the masking tape and will continue the design of my sandals then here I need to attach also masking tape you know if you will uh, decide to design these sandals this uh, the sandals like this one you will need you will not need to attach masking tape to the wedge you will need to attach your wedge simply to the shoe last and then attach masking tape uh, in the places where you will unify the part of wedge and uh, the part of the upper together only in these places so he here I need also attach small piece of masking tape and I will continue the lines of my upper okay so right now just simply continue line that I want to have here on the wedge and here and then in the lasting process I will last my upper together with the wedge and here there are a lot of important um, points in making this upper in lasting of this upper I will uh, mention only a few of them most important points because you know to describe the entire process it will take a lot of time I only want to mention a few of them the most important moments of making such, uh, the design of sandals like this one so we will last this upper together with the wedge and what is important here that right now we didn't include the uh, width of insole yes we still need to use here insole because our lining will be lasted on the insole the upper will continue be here and this part of the upper where we have edge will be without lining only upper lining will reach this place where we will have insole and we will last first the part of the lining on the insole then we will place our wedge and we will last the part of the upper okay that the piece these two pieces of the upper will be without lining okay this is how usually we should do the designs of sandals like this one and that's why i didn't include here insole because during lasting the upper and lining will stretch so uh, um, because of the stretchiness of leather we can design the sandal without insole because when we will stretch we will uh, the upper will be longer the lining will be longer and if we will use here insole uh, during lasting the upper became longer and we will not uh, the lining will not reach uh, needed place okay it will be too long that's why uh, we uh, didn't include here insole in making in designing of this sandal okay now next thing is uh, that 
uh, you can leave the cork without any cover so the cover will be only these two pieces of our upper so here will be the upper here will be the upper and here through these uh, parts you will see the original cork and this is one of the option the second option you can cover still you can cover the wedge with some other color of leather and then on top of this cover you will last your upper and it will be with different color and you will have here beautiful combination of different colors that you will want to create here okay so this is uh, another option that you can create working with sandals with wedge there are believe me there are unlimited designs to create different sandals different styles and which here gives you more possibilities in your design abilities okay so the goal of this tutorial was to show you what you can do what sandals what designs of sandals you can do when you know the simple construction of sandal how to work with cork and create wedge how to create simple cover and then you can upgrade it and create variety of different uh, sandals designs okay uh, that's it for this tutorial if you have questions you are welcome to comment below this video also uh, i will place here a few um, useful links with tutorials different tutorials that i mentioned during this tutorial how to create this uh, insole part uh, insole pattern with the marks that we need to have to create a sandal uh, maybe you are uh, just started watching my tutorials and you want to know how to cover uh, shoelace with masking tape how to cover the wedge it's actually same approach so i will place a link uh, to the tutorial where i show how to cover your shoelace with masking tape and you can use this approach and cover your wedge as well okay and please subscribe to this channel if you are not my subscriber yet so make sure to subscribe to this channel here you will get many different tutorials and tutorials about shoe making so subscribe also don't forget to click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye